Hey guys, today I will show you how to get Motorola's active display feature on your Nexus, Pixel or almost any AOSP based custom ROMs which include ambient display feature. Pixel and Nexus devices have a cool feature called ambient display that wakes your screen in a low power black and white state when you receive a notification or when you pick up the phone. This feature was added back when Google owned Motorola, as Motorola's phones had a similar lock screen effect called Active Display. But Motorola's implementation has always been the better one of the two. Unlike ambient display on Nexus devices, Active Display wakes your screen when you wave your hand in front of your phone and it pulses every so often when you have an unread notification. Thanks to the new app from the developer Grokus, now you can have Motorola's best active display features on your Nexus or Pixel devices. Without even requiring a root, you can add several extra wake gestures to ambient display, including wave to wake and flip to wake. This mod will only work if your device already includes Google's ambient display feature. So basically it builds upon that feature which is normally exclusive to Nexus 6, 5X, 6P and 9 and Pixel devices. However, it is possible this would work if your device has AOSP based custom ROM that includes the ambient display feature as I mentioned previously. The first thing you will need to do is to make sure the ambient display feature is actually enabled. So head to the display menu in the settings and enable ambient display option. If you don't see the option, then you don't have the ambient display feature and you should not be following the rest of the tutorial. Next up, you will need to install the app called AmbiTuner. You can grab it from the link in the description down below. And while you are at it, please leave a like if you find this content useful. The first time you open the app AmbiTuner, you'll be prompted to give the application notification access. This is how the app controls your ambient display feature. So enable the switch next to the notification listener, then press OK on the pop-up and tap your back button only once. Next up, you'll be taken to the app's main menu. So from here, make sure to enable the app itself. At this point, the only available features in the app is Wake from Pocket slash Face Down, which, if you enable, will grant you two different ways of utilizing your ambient display feature. First one, if your phone is in your pocket for more than 10 seconds, you will see the ambient display screen as soon as you take it out. Second, if your phone is lying face down for more than 10 seconds, you can flip it over to wake ambient display. AmbiTuner has even more wake gestures. If you would like to enable this, you will need to purchase the pro version of the app, which is around $0.99. But I'll show you how they work in the next step. If you purchase the Pro version of the AmbiTuner, there are a few more features you can enable to make ambient display more like Motorola's active display. You'll probably want these features enabled at all times, so tick the box next to Start on Boot, and you will always make sure this app starts every time you reboot your device. You can enable the display battery level to check on your battery every time you trigger the ambient display. The display percent bar will just add a horizontal bar underneath the battery percentage. Then you can get Motorola's wave to wake feature. Once you do that, just select the number of waves it will take to trigger the ambient display. In my case it's set on 1. Then you'll be able to wave your hand in front of the proximity sensor near your device earpiece to wake your phone. Next one is Tilt to Wake. As the name suggests, will wake your screen if you tilt your phone while it's lying flat. Pull screen will enable your display to pulse every so often when you have unread notifications. 
Under the pull screen section you will find all the settings regarding how do you want your ambient display to act when you have an unread notification. With everything set up the ambient display feature on your phone should be much easier to trigger now depending on your settings. You can now lift your phone, take it out of your pocket, flip it over or even wave at it and your screen will partially wake to display at the glance information. For now this will be all. If you have any questions regarding the app, leave it in the comment section below. I'll be happy to answer. And if you like the video, like the video. Either way, thank you and have a nice day.